Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to understand about the SQL in and not in operators. So pretty simple, nothing complex about the in and not in operation. What exactly the SQL in operator does is it is used to specify multiple values in where clause. So for example, if we are saying select star or select all values from the employee table where the city is equal to London or city is equal to New York, then we can use a shorthand which is basically in to do the same sort of query so here if you see shorthand of the multiple or conditions is what is is uh, what in is so select start from employee where the city is London or city is New York you can write it with the in clause uh, in operator and you can say select star from employee where city in the comma separated cities that you are looking for now what exactly is not in exactly opposite of what in will be so in will give you the values that or it will return the rows that contain those values that you specify in operator in the brackets for example london and new york in this case not in will return anything apart from those values that you specify in the not in in the brackets so for example if you want to select the values which are not in or rows which are not in london and new york then you simply specify not in front of in and specify the values that you are looking for uh, so it's just a uh, opposite of it okay so the above query will return the rows where the city um, is not in london and new york okay so let's go to the workbench and understand in and not in in much more detail so let me open workbench i'll create a new sql query file and this is the database that we are using so we'll simply say use rcv online database okay and now let's see what all uh, what all values are there in the table right so there is a table customers so if i say select star from customers i think it's customer the name of the table is customer not customers so change it so you will see all the values have been written now usually with the or condition what we have been doing is if i have to select multiple rows which contain the city london or new york I was writing with something like this so select all from customer and then with the where clause I was saying where and then in brackets I was saying city is equal to London right and then with or clause I'm saying city is equal to New York semicolon to end the query and let's run it right so this is how we have been filtering out the rows the data rows which contained the multiple sort of cities right but in if we use in it will be sort of very short form and very effective query which will run similar results right so it's more user friendly so if i say if i want to query multiple cities then with the or condition my query will be so long right so that's where this in operator is really helpful what i can do is i can simply say select all from customer where city and then simply say in right and in the brackets we specify all the cities that we are looking for so all the data rows which contain that city right so we can say city in london and then comma separated new york and that's pretty much it so this is exactly uh, going to return the same results so you'll see that here we have five set of uh, rows that have been returned where city is london and new york and with this particular query if i run this it will be exactly the same results right you will see wherever the city was london and new york the result has been displayed accordingly okay so this is what in operator is all about you can say you can specify multiple values here and i can say for example let's see what are the other cities um, and if i want to include melbourne as well so i can simply say comma separated melbourne and run this query and you will see now melbourne row has been included as well so the results are filtered accordingly now with this or approach if i have to include another city then i have to again use or and then say city and then is equal to melbourne 
Right, so you can see that this is not very effective and efficient way. So it will, even though it will return the same sort of results, but then we do have in operator, which is more efficient and effective way to query the results. Okay, so this is all about in operator now going to not in. So not in is exactly opposite of what in will return. So if I say where city in London, New York and Melbourne, so it is basically returning all the rows where the city is London, Melbourne or New York, right? But if I say not in, then it is basically negating the values that will be returned by the in, right? So you're saying opposite of in or opposite of or basically the negation of the cities which contain London, New York and Melbourne. So basically I'm saying I do not want the rows or data rows which contain the city as London, New York and Melbourne. I want the negation of it. So basically apart from London, New York and Melbourne city rows, all other rows in the customer's table will be returned, right? So let's see that. I'll simply select this query and execute it. So let's see what the result is. So you'll see that apart from these three city rows, anything else that was there in the customer table has been returned on the screen, right? So you'll see that cities Cambridge and New York. So nothing which contained London, New York and Melbourne, none of that data will be returned. So that's what not in is all about. So in and not in, if you understand together, it will be very easy for you to grasp the concept and explain to the interviewer, right? So simple, very easy, just try to remember it in a way that when you say when when I say okay Tom go ahead there is a fruit basket and there are a number of fruits in the basket then I want you to pick apple banana and pomegranate right so I'll say select star or select all fruits or select star from the basket from food basket where fruits in apple comma banana comma pomegranate right so Tom will go and pick all those fruits and bring those to me so basically I'm saying that bring all the rows or data attributes for the values which are in the criteria that you are specifying okay not in is I'm excluding whatever I'm specifying in the criteria and returning every other fruit in the basket. Okay, so this is briefly what in and not in is in SQL. I hope this was clear and helpful for you in the interviews as well. Thank you very much for watching.